The crowds gathered at the tennis centre and Rottenbaum as two unlikely and unseeded players took to court to face off for the 2017 German Open crown. Would it be home favourite Florian Meyer or his namesake and former champion Leonardo Meyer to walk away with the spoils? This was the third meeting of the two Meyers on the ATP World Tour with both having won one previous match apiece. Argentinian Leonardo showing no signs of big day nerves on serve early on. And later in the opener, the 2014 champion went after the German serve to good effect. Didn't quite do enough with the first forehand volley, but got away with it. After an exchange of breaks, the former champion reset to get a look at some crucial break and set points moments later. Just got enough on that dig wide on the forehand side. Made it awkward. wide. Leo Meyer takes control of this final, finishes the opening set in style. Into the second set and in a mammoth sixth game, Leonardo kept coming. He's given himself another opportunity though. Looks composed today. But Florian kept swatting breakpoint opportunities away. Saves another. As the business end of the set approached, the quality began to intensify. Yes, he's made it. They can help lift this guy now and get inside the head of Leo Meyer. And for Florian Meyer, that spelt good news. It's just long. He's back in business. When it came to serving to restore parity, the German kept his cool. Seals it with an ace. And the crowd here very much in approval. That was a good spell for Florian Meyer. Into a decider and Leonardo was being made to work to hold serve. Did well to keep a clear head there, Leonardo Meyer. The German was also living dangerously on serve. Difficult shot, isn't it, at the best of times? Uh, high overhead. As the set grew older, the break points were becoming more plentiful. Florian Meyer just couldn't get it out of the forehand of uh, Leonardo Meyer there. And it was a fine margin that proved decisive for the Argentinian. It drifted long, it has. Finds the mark, and there's the break. All that remained was for the lucky loser to serve for the championship. the champion in Hamburg for a second time and incredibly this time as a lucky loser the world number 138 comes out on top in the battle of the Myers. Leonardo Meyer then winning the second ATP World Tour title of his career both of which coming in Hamburg some journey for the lucky loser who a week previously had lost in the final round of qualifying to a 16-year-old. A week to remember for the entire family Meyer.